And in the end of the days, after 40 years in the desert, what's going on with Moses? Moses went back to heaven. He passed away. And we buried him? No. Hashem buried him. There was no funeral. No one knows where he buried. And we, after burying him, no, after Hashem buried him, we are moving on with our lives and entering to the Holy Land of Israel with Yoshua, his student. And where is Moses? No one knows. And we cried a little bit and we were mourning a little bit. That's not enough. And even worse, today when we're reading the Agadah, everyone are partying. Everyone are happy. Everyone are celebrating. Yeah, the redemption and drinking and eating matzot in the right amounts and eating all the sweets and wonderful things and reading and singing and the families are gathering. And where is Moses? Do you know what happened to Moses? Moses died. Moses died and Moses died disappointed in the worst way of them all that we cannot even understand and describe. He did not enjoy it all. He died in the desert and his children and his poor wife are isolated outside of the camp of Israel, are not enjoying and inheriting the land. And where are they? No one knows. No one knows. And while we're celebrating Pesach, we're not even calling his name even once. We're not mentioning Moses' name. This is something that is unacceptable. Unacceptable at all. The exile that we're suffering is in many, many aspects taking place in our lives, in our poor lives, because of that lack of gratitude to Moses. Because of our weak connection to that person that redeemed us. We're not understanding yet the importance of that man Moses. The Zara Kadosh is telling us Moshe da Mashiach. The Mashiach will be Moshe. Moshe himself, he is the Mashiach, he is the Redeemer. He was the Redeemer and he is the Redeemer that will come and redeem us all. But we forgot about him and therefore that's why we are not able to recognize him even if he's standing in front of our eyes. Because we lost him more than 3,000 years ago in the desert. Him and his children. Him and his wife. And we need to wake up. We need to wake up and to understand that we are experiencing a certain darkness that has been forced on our eyes and we cannot see. And we must scream to heaven to bring back that Mashiach, that Moses, back to us. And that we want to fix and to take responsibility on the fact that we forgot about him. So I suggest to accept on ourselves this Pesach, this Lela Seder, to talk about Moses on our tables. That's my suggestions. That's what I think that can make a big change in our lives. Really to bring him back to the picture.